we are witnessing uh, an unprecedented loss of biodiversity. Uh, for some experts, the rate of extension today is 1,000 times higher than the natural rate of extension. So therefore, this extension is undermining the capacity of the planet to continue carrying its goods and services that we take for granted. And this disaster is not known. It's not known from the politician, it's not known from the, from the public at large, and therefore the United Nations General Assembly has declared 2010 as the International Year on Biodiversity. It is a waking call for humanity to do business differently with modern nature. The Convention on Biological Diversity was opened in signature in Rio de Janeiro. It's one of the three Rio Convention. It has now 193 parties. The next meeting of the Conference of the Party will be in Nagoya in Japan in 2010, and we expect more than 10,000 participants, heads of states, ministers, stakeholders, uh, CEOs of companies, uh, mayors, uh, local authorities, parliamentarians, the youth, the children, and the scientific uh, community as a whole. It's a gathering of all the stakeholders uh, that, uh, to, to, uh, to, to prepare policy framework for implementation at global level, at universal uh, level, policies aimed at conserving biodiversity, uh, using it in a sustainable manner, and having access to genetic resources and sharing the benefit of, this, uh, of the use of genetic resources. I think, first of all, we have to understand uh, that business as usual is no more an option. And I think the six billion people on Earth have to understand that the resources are finite and uh, they need to be used in a, in a very uh, sustainable manner. And also, the decisions that have been taken by the Conference of the Parties, they need to be implemented at national level. So we need to translate the commitment of the parties into the realities. And to do so, biodiversity needs to be mainstreamed in all uh, policy framework of the government, and in particular, the development priorities of the government. The International Year on Biodiversity uh, will be a unique opportunity for all the stakeholders, not only the government, but also the, the partners, including the business community, to celebrate uh, the International Year on Biodiversity and to raise public awareness and to engage all the stakeholders in the need to protect life on Earth. It will start in, in Berlin, uh, in Germany, uh, because Germany is chairing our Conference of the Parties until October 2010, and the IGs of the Chancellor of Germany, uh, Madame Angela Merkel, with participation of heads of states. We'll have in Paris, and the IGs of UNESCO, uh, with the participation also of heads of states, a big event in January, on 21st and 22nd January, with the launch of the international exhibit, which will be the exhibit which will travel the most, and also the most reproduced exhibit. We'll have a couple of big events at the international level which culminate also, which will culminate also in September 2010 for the first time in the international organization with a meeting of heads of states in New York uh, to celebrate the International Year on Biodiversity. We'll have our conference of the parties in Nagoya and of course the closing ceremony will be in Ishikawa, Kanazawa City and this will uh, offer the opportunity to launch a new international year uh, the 2011 has been declared the International Year on Forest, and as you know, 80% of biodiversity is located in tropical forests.